Right, this is first grade module three, lesson two. And in this lesson, students are going to be comparing um, lengths of different objects indirectly by using kind of a like a middleman, a piece of string. They're going to identify, for example, here we got a couple of people, and that red string you'll notice is longer than the short person, but it is shorter than the longer person. So the idea is since the tall person on the left is longer than the string and the short person on the right is shorter than the string, we can now in make um, comparisons between those two people. Even though we didn't line up those two people next to each other, line up their endpoints and do all that sort of stuff, we're using that string as our uh, indirect measurement tool. And uh, so that's what this whole lesson is all about. So let's get started. Right, this lesson is a little bit funky in that it requires a whole bunch of materials and that, that's to be expected when uh, we're doing a module on measurement. You need reality stuff. You don't need a lot of paper and pencil work with our students. We want them touching things and measuring things. With uh, Right now we're using unofficial things like string and eventually paper clips. Uh, ultimately students are going to be doing the standard measurement tools with rulers, either inches or centimeters. But one of the things that this lesson asks for is uh, nine centimeter strips of paper, nine centimeter long strips of paper. Now, there's nothing magic about nine centimeters, and I don't want teachers saying, oh my gosh, I have to measure 35 little strips of nine centimeter long pieces of paper. No, 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 no. Here's something you can do, because there's nothing magic about the fact that it's nine centimeters. What you could do, take a blank piece of binder paper here, fold it in half, and now you know what you got? This right here, that is about 10, 10 and a half centimeters long. That's close enough for this lesson. You don't need something precisely nine centimeters. So take a piece of paper, fold it in half, cut it in half right here down the line. Now you cut your slices here and it's in two seconds. You've just created all the manipulatives that your students need to measure. All right. But for the point of this lesson, they do say nine centimeters. So what I've done is I've kind of generated something to symbolize nine centimeters um, of paper. And then the idea is we're going to take that nine centimeter strip and we're going to compare it with a balloon. And I'm going to rotate the balloon a little bit, although your students won't be able to um, as easily. And we can see that my balloon is shorter than my strip of paper. And we can see that the cake is longer than my strip of paper, and that automatically allows us to compare these two things. We know that the balloon is shorter than the cake. All right. Um, and so that's the idea. Um, again, oops, well, uh, parents and teachers, a lot of vocabulary, so please be referring to your vocabulary wall for your second uh, language learners. Um, uh, have your sentence strips available, all that sort of stuff, because this is language intensive. So please um, take the time now uh, to be using that vocabulary and reinforce that vocabulary. Um, there is no need to rush through the vocabulary because while it might feel like you're making progress, if you don't put that great foundation in the vocabulary here, uh, it's going to fall apart down the road. So don't shortchange your vocabulary. And again, you've got your paper strips, and you can use your paper strips to compare uh, the shoe and the ball, and we should be able to see, so the shoe is, and we can write, longer than the ball. Now, uh, the ball is shorter, so the idea is, the, the word shorter, we don't know because of the vagaries of English, does shorter mean this way, or does shorter mean this way, because it means both. So parents and teachers, if your students get hung up on this word and they're not sure which one, 
that's okay. If they've decided this is what they mean by shorter, then just make sure that your students are measuring the same um, dimension of the shoe. If they've decided that this is the shorter that they are talking about for this, uh, the ball, then make sure they're measuring the same um, dimension of the shoe. And that's perfectly fine for this lesson. And lastly, this is a great opportunity for your students to differentiate amongst themselves and find their love of mathematics because now they get to draw pictures and so some students are going to get better and prettier pictures than others and that's perfectly fine too. So the idea is we're going to draw Marnie's hair and it's shorter than Wesley's hair. So I'm going to put M and W because my drawings are horrible. So here's Marnie and her hair is right here and then Wesley so Marnie's hair is shorter than Wesley's hair okay so that means Wesley's hair is very long back in the day when I was a musician I had super long hair so I can I understand Wesley all right so there we go we have Marnie and we have Wesley, so I've just taken care of that first sentence. And the second sentence says, Marnie's hair is longer than Bitta's hair. Oh, beautiful name, Bitta. So Bitta is right here, and Bitta has short hair. All right, there's her hair. Now, what's the question? The question is, Bitta's hair, how does it compare with Wesley's hair? Well, since Wesley's hair is longer than Marnie's, and Marnie's hair is longer than Bitta, that means, well, I should go the other way. Since Bitta is, her hair is shorter than Marnie's, and Marnie's is shorter than Wesley's, that tells us that Bitta's is shorter than Wesley's. And again, parents and teachers, especially for your students who are learning English as a second language or third language, take the time to really focus on this vocabulary and give your students an opportunity to grapple, especially using a word wall. And that wraps up first grade module three, lesson two. Students are comparing objects and they're comparing them indirectly using that strip of paper as the middleman.